hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening or depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel it's so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people really appreciate you we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country this one we've got right now is autumn versus oshomole when we hear um, that uh, uh, those names we know what that re uh, relates to um just um, about a day ago adam soshomole uh, published a retraction on three major newspapers and we know how all of that happened it was in 20 18 when adam soshomale accused benue state governor of being involved or partaking in the death of two catholic priests in benue state that was really really unbelievable but um autumn decided to drag the the uh oshomale to court for making such uh remark about him that that has dented his image that why will he make such remark but it was only recently adam soshomale stated that um, it was just politics he was just playing politics adam soshomale always playing politics if we record that in um, edo 2020 that was the same answer he gave when he was asked that why did you make such a um, remark about uh, your anointed candidate right now in 2016 you spoke against him criticized him called him fake pastor called him all sort of name right now you want to impose him on edo people asking edo people to vote him that he's the best man for the job that obaseki was not good enough surprisingly or, or shamala's response was that he was just uh, playing politics that's even worse to tell the people that you are playing politics with with the with at the detriment of uh, um citizens that is worse it's unbelievable well back to shamala when um uh, Oshomale made um those uh, allegations against um the governor of benue state what he stated um that um he um governor autumn was part of um those people that murdered the priest the governor took the case to court and Oshomale started begging for out of court settlement but um, at that point um, governor autumn stated that okay if that is the way you want to go you have to publish um, a retraction of statement of your comment and all of that so Oshomale has done that but um, we don't know if um, autumn is okay with that or if he's going to be um, slamming him with some sort of fine or whatever but the news we've got right now is that the court has received um, a report regarding the out of um, settlement and um, they've stated what they are going to be doing you know i stated that i don't know if autumn is okay with just the retraction with um, what um, the apology adam sushomale put out there for everyone to know that um, all he said um, they were all lies against the governor the court uh, uh, will decide but uh, we'll bring you all of those details and what is going on right now but before we do guys Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, press on that notification bell. Press the bell until it turns grey. God bless you. Yes, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. A Makoti High Court presided over by Justice Augustine Itonyima yesterday adjourned to May 14, 2021, the 10 billion Naira Libe suit instituted against a former national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Comrade Adam Soshomole, by Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn, Justice Ito Yima said the court will receive the report of the out-of-court settlement deal between the two parties on the adjourned date. Autumn had dragged the Shomale to court over his comment against him at a press conference held on June 27, 2018, where the APC stalwart accused him of having a hand in the death of two Catholic priests and other parishioners at Mbalom community in Goya East Local Council of the state. Oshomale had also alleged that one of the priests had preached a very critical sermon against Autumn. After filing six preliminary objections to the suit and losing all, Oshomale approached the court for an out-of-court settlement with Autumn. When the case came up for hearing yesterday, Autumn's counsel Samuel Irabo informed the court that although the matter was fixed for a definite hearing. There was a new development on the out-of-court settlement deal earlier canvassed by Oshomole. He disclosed that Oshomole has complied with the terms of court settlement in part, stating that what remained was a retraction of the publication in the electronic media and some sundry issues. 
He asked the court for another day to enable the parties to resolve their standing issues. Counsel to Oshomole, Titus Akua, who held the brief of Festus Jumbo, corroborated the submission of Autumn's counsel. After listening to the submission of both counsel, Justice Itoyi Ma adjourned the case to May 14 for a report on the out-of-court settlement deal. So it's not over yet, even after Oshomole um, published that um, retraction of statement. It's still not over because um, the counsel to Autumn is stating that um, there are other uh, uh, there were other things that Oshomole were told to do, but um, he's complied with some of them, but he has not done all of them. We can see that uh, when uh, Autumn dragged Oshomole to court, <laughs> the suit that was instituted against him was a big one, 10 billion naira. Most probably that's what Oshomole is begging right now and they are seeking for out-of-court settlement. So what's happening right now, the court is stating that uh, they've uh, received out-of-court settlement report and then uh, fixed a date when all of it will be finalized. So on that day, uh, Autumn's counsel will decide if they are happy with um, the, the terms with the out-of-court settlement um, if Oshomole has complied with everything they um, required all everything they told him to do then they can decide maybe i don't know if oshomole will still pay this 10 billion naira or if it's going to be halved or at the end of the day because we, we listened to that retraction from oshomole oshomole was stating that autumn is his brother he was playing that game that autumn they are friends that um it was just a terrible mistake that he I relied on something he relied on false information you know, people were saying to Oshomole, that is why you have to think very well before you speak. You know, you don't just come out uh, to come and uh, uh, put everything out there. And you know, Oshomole also stated that it was because um, Autumn decamped from the All Progressive Congress, moved over to PDP. So it was um, politics as well at that time. That was why he made those statements. Oshomole is definitely going in for this. He has made part of, um, he has uh, complied with part of um, the terms, but... Um, Autumn's lawyer is stating that Oshomole has not met all of them. We'll see how all of this goes. Um, a date has been fixed for um, the settlement report, which is May 14th. And on that day, we'll find out if Oshomole is totally free, if there are more things he needs to do, and um, what's the total amount he's been left with to pay. Well, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Also, press on that notification bell. Hit the bell until it turns gray. Till I come your way again with more updates, bye for now and God bless.